In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to multiply long numbers together using the lattice method. So let's think about two large numbers. We could have 342 multiplied by 25. The way the lattice method works is it uses a grid based upon how many digits there are in each number. So 342 has three digits and 25 has two digits. So the grid that we're going to need to draw is going to have to have three columns and two rows. So to start that off, I'm going to draw the columns first. So we have one, two, two, three. And now that I've got the three columns, I'm going to divide them in two so that I have the two rows. Here we go. OK, right, so now I'm going to put the 342 at the top. 3, 4, 2, and I'm going to put the 25 at the side, 2, 5. My next step is to divide all of the cells in half using the diagonal line. OK, now all of that's in place, we can start doing some multiplication. So first of all, I have 2 times 2. So 2 times 2 is 4. So I'm going to put a 4 down here and a 0 here. As we use the diagonal line to split up the tens and the units. So the tens go on the top and the units go on the bottom. Next, I'm going to do 2 times 5. 2 times 5 is 10, so I'll put a 1 here and a 0 here. 2 times 4 is 8, so I'm going to put a 0 here and an 8 here. 4 times 5 is 20, so I'll put a 2 here and a 0 here. Then I've got 3 times 2, so 3 times 2 is 6, so again, 6 units, no 10s. And then we've got finally 3 times 5, which is 15, so I'll put a 1 here and a 5 here. Now that's all in place, my next stage is to start adding up the numbers in each diagonal column. So I start from this side here, as when we add, we always start with the units first. So let's first of all go to diagonal 1. In diagonal 1, there's just a 0, so I'm going to put a 0 at the end here. In diagonal 2, we've got 4 and 1. So 4 add 1 is 5, so at the end of this diagonal, I'm going to put a 5. In this next diagonal, we've got quite a few numbers. We've got 0, we've got 8, 2 and 5. So 8 add 2 is 10, and then add the 5 is 15. So I'm going to put a 5 here, and then very much like when we're adding using the column method, I'm going to carry the the tens part of the 15 over to the next column and I'm just going to put it there so that I remember to add it with those numbers here. So now we've got 0, add 6, add 1, add 1. So 0 add 6 is 6, add 1 is 7, add 1 is 8. Okay, and lastly the last column's just got 0 in it, so I'll put a 0 there, but we don't often include zeros at the front of numbers, so I'm going to kind of ignore that. So the last stage when doing a long multiplication like this is to write down the actual calculation that you've just done. So I'm going to write down 3, 4, 2 times 25 equals 8, 5, 5, 0. Now I'm going to count back here from the units for three spaces. I'm going to put a comma. So that makes it a little bit easier to read so I can see that this number is 8,550. Great, so that there is the lattice method. So let's try it once more. So this time I'm going to use a slightly longer number. I'm going to use 12,728 multiplied by 32. Okay, the reason I picked this number is I wanted to go through using a different size grid. So this time we've got one, two, three, four, five digits by two digits. So that means we're going to need to have five columns and two rows. So let's draw our columns first. So here we have one. So that's the first column, second column, third column, fourth column, fifth column. Let's put the top on the table and then I can divide this into two nicely to make two rows. Okay, now that's in place, I can put the numbers in. One, two, 7, 2, 8, and then 3, 
two at the side. Okay, the next step is to divide each cell in two using a diagonal line. Okay, so here we go. One, two, three. I don't need to count these really. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, well, I, I don't know how to count to eight. There's actually 10 lines there. So let's now pick two numbers to multiply together. So I'm gonna start somewhere else this time because it actually doesn't matter how you start multiplying these numbers. It just make it just you just need to complete the grid. So one times three is three. So I'll put zero there and three here. One times two is two. So zero two. Two times three is six. Zero six. Two times two is four. Zero four. Three times seven is twenty-one. Twenty-one. Seven times two is fourteen. 3 times 2 is 6, so 0, 6. 2 times 2 is 0, 4, 0, 4. 8 times 3 is 24, 24. And 8 times 2 is 16, so 1, 6. Okay, now is the bit where we just add up down the columns. Well, the diagonal columns, that is. So, first of all, we've got to remember that we start from this side. So we have 6, 6 just makes 6. 4 add 1 add 4 is 9, 2 add 6 is 8, add 4 is 12, so I'm going to put the 2 here, I put a little 1 there just to remind us that that's actually a 12, and then we're going to include this 12 in this diagonal, so we've got 0 add 1 add 1, that's 2, add 4 is 6, add 1 more makes 7, here we go, 2 add 6 is 8, add 2 is 10, so again, we're going to put a zero there. I'm just going to stick a one here to remind us about that. And then we've got zero add three and zero add one, which makes four. And then we've got zero. The final stage is to always write down your calculation. So here we go. So we have 12,728 multiplied by 32 equals 407. Two, nine, six. So if we were to read that number out loud, that would be 407,296. Okay, so now let's switch over to the Crack Math site to have a go at a scenario question. So here we are on the Crack Math site. So again, I'm going to scroll down to find the tutorials. Here we go. All you need to know tutorials. And then we're on tutorial three how to multiply large numbers without a calculator. So here we go, we can see that we've got some practice questions. Now, interestingly, in these practice questions, we should look at some of these words because we've got this word here, product, okay? Now, product means the result of multiplying two numbers together. So this is an important word to use, okay? So product is an important word to remember because that is the result from multiplying two numbers. So when they say here, what is the product of 23 and 56? They mean, what is 23 multiplied by 56? Okay, so let's go down here and here we are. So let's look at question one. So question one tells us a store sells 456 packs of cookies with each pack containing 25 cookies. So how many cookies are sold in total? You know that we've just been studying multiplication. So it's likely that we're simply going to multiply these two numbers together. But before we go ahead and do that, let's have a quick think about it. So if we're in a store and it's selling packs of cookies and each cookie has 25 cookies in each one, if you had one pack of 25 cookies, that would be 1 times 25, which would tell us we'd have 25 cookies in total. If we had two packs of cookies, that would be two times 25, okay? And that's 50. So that means we'd have 50 cookies in total. If it was three packs, we'd do three times 25. So three times 25 would tell us that we'd have 75 cookies in total, okay? So 25 cookies in pack one, 25 cookies in pack two, 25 cookies in pack three, okay? So every single additional pack of cookies is gonna bring us an extra 25 cookies. So 
When we look at this question and we have a look and it says there's 456 packs of cookies, that means that this question is asking us to do 456 multiplied by 25. Okay, so we can see that this is a three digit number multiplied by a two digit number. So we know that we're going to need three columns and two rows. So let's draw the grid. One column, two columns, three columns, and then split it in half to get two rows. Okay, now I can put the numbers on. Four, five, six. I can put the numbers at the side as well. Two, five. The next step is to divide the cells into two using the diagonal lines. And now we can begin multiplying. So first let's do six times two. So six times two is 12. So I'm gonna put a one above and two below. Six times five is 30. So I'll put a three above and a zero below. Two times five is 10, so I'll put a one above and a two below. Five times five is 25, so I'll put a two above and a five below. Four times two is eight, so that means it's zero eight. And four times five is 20, so that's two zero. Wonderful. Now what we do is we add up down the columns, well the diagonal columns, starting from this side here. So first of all, we've got zero. Next, we've got two add three, which is five, and then five add five, which is 10. So I'll put a zero here, and I'll just put a one there to remind us that that's gone into the next column. Then we've got one add zero, add two, add zero, add one. So we can put a four there, and then we have one add eight, which is nine, add two, which is 11. So I'll put a one here and a one there, and then zero and one makes one. Perfect. So let's write down the calculation so our answer is clear. So 456 times by 25 equals 11400. Now I'm just gonna put in my comma just here to make that easier to read. So I can see now that that says 11,400. Okay, right, now moment of truth. Let's have a look to see if our answer is correct. So I'm gonna click here, click next, scroll up to the top, and here we go, it says, the number of cookies sold is 11,400. Excellent. Okay, right, so I hope that that has been helpful to you. Um, I would suggest now, if you have some time, going to crack maths and having a look at practicing some of the papers. You can practice the practice questions and the scenario questions, check your answers and make sure everything's okay. Okay, great. I'll see you next time. Bye.